Welcome to Celebration Television News Desk. I am Belly Squetta. Thanks for joining us today. And I'm the news making the rounds. Uh, Solido celebrates and says victory reflects will of Anambra people. Siri Ramaphosa plays down ANC election setback in South Africa. George rejects a Trump bid to withhold records. Aviation fuel price rises by 70%. International airlines may raise fares. And on sports, uh, rookie Dosumu praised in Bulls' win. Stay tuned as the news in details comes after the short timeout. Welcome back now the news in full. Solido celebrates and says victory reflects the will of Anambra people. Former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria and candidate of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, uh, Professor Chukuma Solido has uh, described his victory in the 2021 Anambra governorship election as a reflection of the people's will. The returning officer of the Anambra governorship election, Professor Florence Obi, announced the results at the INEC office in Oka, Anambra State. Solido Wan, who was the Apex Bank governor between 2004 and 2009, was uh, declared winner after a supplementary election was held in Ihiala local government area in the state. And he won 19 of the 21 local government areas, including Ihiala local government area. And during the acceptance speech, uh, Solido says, uh, with uh, utmost uh, humility and gratitude to God, he accepts the results of the 2021 Anambra governorship election as declared by INEC. And uh, this reflects the supreme will of the Almighty God and an overwhelming sacred mandate of the people. The winner also thanked the incumbent governor of Anambra State, Willie Obiano, and uh, the president, Muhammad Buhari, amongst a list of persons. He promised to deliver the dividends of uh, democracy to the people of the state while extending an olive branch to his uh, contenders in the race. And Solido is expected to be sworn into office next March after the expiration of the two term tenors of uh, Obiano, who is also of the All Progressive Grand Alliance. When I'm moving forward, uh, the NUT Lords reps for passing bill and raising teachers' uh, retirement age. The National Union of uh, Teachers uh, commended the House of Representatives on the passing of or the passage of an executive bill seeking to raise the retirement age of the teachers in Nigeria. And the lower chamber's uh, passage of the bill followed the consideration of the report on the bill by the committee of the of the whole and shortly after the passage the secretary general of the nut dr mike enner says it is a welcome development and that it's a great progress the bill has been uh, with them for a while and they are glad that the house of representatives 
has passed it. And President Muhammad Buhari had on the June 2nd, 2021, sent an executive bill to the Senate and the House of Representatives seeking to increase the retirement age for teachers in the country from 60 to 65 years. And the bill also seeks to extend the years of service uh, for teachers from uh, 35 to 40 years. And uh, Buhari, in his letter addressed to the President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, and Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Mila, explained that the piece of legislation will provide uh, for a harmonized retirement age for teachers in Nigeria. The harmonized retirement age uh, for teachers in Nigeria Bill 2021 seeks to increase the retirement age of teachers from 60 to 65 years and also increase uh, the possible years of service from 35 to 40 years, the president had said in the letter. And then in another development moving forward, the new strategy needed to tackle invasion of correctional facilities, says Aregbe Shola. The Minister of Interior, Ralph Aregbeshola, says that a new strategy um, is needed to tackle the invasion of correctional facilities in the country. And this uh, is uh, as he reiterated the federal government's uh, commitment to improve security in the country. Aregbeshola spoke during the inauguration of the committee to study the recommendations and implementation strategies on strengthening internal security framework and uh, community policing in Nigeria, in Abuja. He says that the committee observed that the absence of a national security policy and strategy document, as well as monitoring and evaluation framework of the internal security has negatively affected the operations of the internal uh, security agencies in the country, which therefore necessitates the directive of Mr. President to approve an inter-ministerial committee with all relevant stakeholders and international or internal security to be put in place. And this is as he stressed that one of the nine priorities, um, priority areas of the regime of President Muhammad Buhari is to improve governance and, pro and provide security for all citizens. And now moving forward from news uh, coming from around Africa, Cyril Ramaphosa plays down the ANC election and set back in South Africa. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa played down the historic setback suffered by the African National Congress ANC in the last week's municipal election, saying the party in power since the end of the apartheid still had a majority. And according to the official results, the ANC won 46% of the vote, which is uh, by far the worst result uh, for Nelson Mandela's party since the first democratic elections in 1994. The reality is that the ANC is still by a wide margin the most popular political organization in the country, uh, Cyril Ramaphosa says, during the post-election party meeting in Soweto. And he says that uh, they are not discouraged by the results because they are not beaten and not downhearted. And the ruling party came out on top of uh, on top in 161 of the 213 local councils at stake, and the ANC, which had won every election with an um, absolute majority since 1904, will be forced to form uh, coalitions, especially in the big cities where its uh, decline has been the greatest. For years, the Liberation Party has uh, faced the uh, Dissolution, uh, dissolutionment of uh, population faced with records on employment that's 34 percent, 34.4 percent, and uh, disgusted by the multiple corruption scandals involving senior party officials, including former President Jacob Zuma of uh, 20, 2009 to 2018. And in 2016, the ANC won the 54 percent of the vote and had already lost key cities, including Pretoria and the economic capital, Johannesburg. And now still from around Africa, DR Congo military announces the recovery of its positions. The Congolese army says it had recovered all its positions, which it said were attacked on Sunday night by former rebels of the March 23 movement, 
M23 in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. And the military had um, earlier accused members of the M23 um, rebellion group of attacking a base in the, the Eastern Congo's uh, Rochiru area and fighting was underwear. The M23 um, insurrection movement attacked the, a, uh, the FARDC uh, positions in uh, Ruchuru with the intention of destabilizing the province. At present, the fighting is underway and the loyalist forces are determined to put an end to the armed group once and for all, says the General um, Silva Ekenge, deputy spokesman for the Congolese ministry and uh, also known as the FARDC. The, Reb the rebels attacked in uh, the remote villages of um, Ronyoni and the Chanzu on the strategic hills between Rwanda and Uganda in the North Kivu province, he said. And the rebels had taken over lands near there in the 2012 and were pushed from the area into Uganda and Rwanda by Congolese and United Nations forces in 2013. The group says it uh, developed a team to access needs among uh, people fleeing the fighting overnight between unknown armed um, groups. A spokeswoman, uh, Irene Nakasi, Nakasi, Nakasita, sorry, also says hundreds were camp campaigning and camping at the border post at uh, Bunag Bunagana seeking for shelter in the Uganda. Now we're going to a very short break where we come back we get more news updates uh, from the United States of America. Stay with us. Arresting forces. There's a harbor list in our midst. God is giving you an opportunity. He wants to help your life. You are a harbor list, you are here. How long have you been a harbor list? 20 years. More than 20 years. But now you want Jesus. Yes. Have you seen a miracle? Have you experienced a miracle? Have you ever seen the touch of God? Are you bound by satanic forces? Do you want to enjoy a new anointing, a fresh anointing in your work with God? It's going to be a time with God. Two days of glory. Two days of power. Two days of might. Two days of the manifestations of the acts of God. My father! My father! My father! My father! Right now! Are you a Christian? Are you a child of God? Do you live in Niger State? Do you live in the urbans of Niger? Mina, Lafia? Join every believer, every Christian as we come Impact last year 2021 with Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Date 23rd through 24th November 2021. 23rd by 5 p.m. and 24th by 7:30 a.m. and 5 p.m. Venue: Government Science Kofi, Lafia, Nasarawa State, Nigeria. For inquiries, please call. Get ready, Lafia.
You're welcome back. And now on, on uh, news coming from around the United States of America, George rejects Trump bid to withhold records. A U.S. judge has ruled a con congressional a committee investigating the Capitol riots can access um, some of the ex-President Donald Trump's White House records. And Mr. Trump had argued the materials were covered by executive privilege, which protects the confidentiality of some White House communications. The inquiry is trying to find out if Mr. Trump had the foreknowledge of the riot. The ruling uh, came on the day uh, 10 Trump um, 8 were issued with legal uh, summons to uh, testify before lawmakers and hundreds of Mr. Trump's supporters stormed the Capitol building and uh, disrupted the official certification of President Joe Biden's election victory on the 6th of January this year. The House of Representatives Select Committee wants to see a truth of phone records, visitors' log, and other White House documents that could shed some light on the events leading up to the attack on Congress. The former president had requested an injunction to keep the documents under wraps, but the U.S. District Judge uh, Tanya Chuchkan um, ruled that the National um, Archives, the federal agencies that hold the Mr. Trump's White House records, should comply with the panel's request. And George uh, Chutzkan and uh, Obama's appointee uh, ruled that Mr. Trump's uh, request for a pre preliminary injunction seemed to rest on the notion that his executive power exists in the perpetuity. And now, uh, moving forward, more updates from uh, Poland. Poland Prime Minister blames Russia's Putin for migrant crisis. Poland's Prime Minister has accused uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin of being uh, behind a migrant crisis at the Belarus border um, with Poland. Mateusz uh, Morazewski said that the Belarus authoritarian leader, a uh, close ally of Mr. Putin, is orchestrating the crisis, but it has its uh, mastermind in Moscow. At least 2,000 migrants are struck at the border in freezing conditions, Belarus leader Alexander Lukashenko denies claims it is sending people over the borders in revenge for the EU sanctions. And many of the migrants are young men, but these are also, but there are also women and children, mostly from the Middle East and Asia, and they are camping in tents just inside Belarus, trapped between Polish guards on one side and Belarusian guards on the other side. Now moving forward to business news, uh, aviation, fuel, aviation fuel price rises by 70% and international airlines may rise uh, the fares. The International Air Transport Association says the price of jet fuel has uh, continued to increase in recent weeks with its price increasing by 70% since the start of 2021 and according to the iata the switzerland-based trade organizations uh, representing over 290 international airlines the increase in jet a1 price is uh, putting pressure on airlines operating costs and threatening the industry's uh, profitability the iata um, says the jet fuel price continue to trend or to trend upwards in recent weeks as uh, economic activities restarted across uh, and around the world and supply remained tight. The association disclosed this in its uh, airline financial monitor, which was released on Tuesday. It added that as uh, of early November, jet fuel price was 70% higher compared to the start of the year. And the association says that the monthly jet fuel price and Brent crude oil Price continued to climb higher in recent weeks and are currently well above pre-crisis, uh, that's 2019 level. IATA added that the airline stocks uh, dropped across all regions in October because of rising jet fuel price on airline operating cost. Right now, still in business news, uh, Visa and Cuda partners to issue physical visual cards. 
Kuda Technologies says uh, it has uh, partnered Visa, a leading global digital uh, payment company, to offer digital and physical Visa cards to its customers. A company um, statement said the move was aimed at driving the firm's independent payment cards offering. And the statement uh, reads that Kuda propositions of zero fees on cards, account maintenance and transfer, as well as its low interest credit offering delivered uh, conveniently through smartphones and the web have made it particularly attractive to uh, millennial and also the banks now almost has almost two million customers in its uh, launch country in nigeria where it operates as a kuda microfinance bank under a license from the central bank of nigeria and the statement quoted uh, the chief executive officer of kuda technologies bab sogundeyi as seeing a visa inspires uh, confidence and partnering with them to help uh, offer reliable card services in independently has been one of their top uh, priorities uh, since CUDA launched in 2019. They are proud that uh, they uh, finally made it uh, to happen and they look forward to promoting cashless payments across Africa together. And also the country's manage, uh, manager um, of Visa Nigeria Andrew Uhagboy says uh, the rapid pace of uh, technology innovations has driven a powerful shift in business and consumer expectations in financial services. We want another short break. When we come back, we get news from the world of sports. Stay with us. Business are you planning to showcase to the world? That which will satisfy the need of humanity? Of course, with Celebration TV, it will get the desired reciprocation you long for. We are committed to giving your business and services that quality touch of class and you will be happy you made the right choice by placing that investment of yours on the right platform. Without delay, you can call on this number for your advert placement, partnership or sponsorship of our programs. Celebration Television, your best bet. Welcome back now on Sports News. So rookie Dosumu praising Bulls win. Chicago Bulls rookie Ayo Dosumu has been uh, applauded by teammates and coach for his impressive performance in their 118 to 95 victory over the Brooklyn Nets in an Eastern Conference matchup. The African player of uh, Nigeria descent a second round 38th overall selection by the Bulls in the 2021 NBA draft has been one of the top performing rookies this season. He scored a career-high 15 points and 7 assists in a win from the bench as he continues to make a case uh, for permanent uh, roster inclusion in his rookie season. The sumo was the Bulls' third highest scorer with uh, 15 points behind forward Demar DeRozan, who scored 28 points, 
and guard Zach Lavin, who had 24 points. The 21-year-old output uh, this season has been praised by four-time four All-Star DeRozan. And Bulls head coach uh, Billy Donovan uh, believes the point guard had its uh, factor. And uh, lastly, on the news desk and still from the world of sports, top five saves that earned Okoye Watford move. Super Eagles goalkeeper Maduka Okoye's outstanding saves in the Dutch uh, Eredivisie earned him a move to Premier League club Watford. The 22-year-old, who um, signed a five-and-a-half-year deal with the Hornets, will become the second Nigerian goalkeeper to feature in the Premier League after Carl Ikeme should um, Watford avoid relegation at the end of the season. And the Nigerian is expected to join his new teammates next season and his new deal will begin on January 1st, 2022 and uh, runs until the end of 2026-2027 uh, season. Okoye, who is currently uh, the 11th best goalkeeper in Eredivisie, according to uh, bsoccer.com has played uh, every minute this season but only kept his uh, first clean sheet in the air division on Saturday with Sparta Rotterdam 16th in the standing with 10 points after 12 games. And according to a Nigerian agent based in England who was privy to the move, Okoye's brilliant saves and uh, good commands of his goal area in the ongoing air division season earned him his record move to the Hornets. And that's the size of the news for us today on Celebration Television News Desk. If you're just joining us, here is a recap of the news making the headlines. Solodu celebrates and says victory reflects the will of Anambra people. Cyril Ramaphosa plays down the ANC election setback in South Africa. George reflects uh, Trump uh, bid to judge rejects Trump bid uh, to withhold records. Aviation fuel price rises by 70%. International airlines may raise fares. And on sports, rookie Dosumo plays in Bulls win. And today on our photo of the day, just like we see that picture of a man jumping from one edge to the other, this is just to tell us that no matter what it takes, if you set your heart to do it, you can do it. It takes self-determination. So um, whatsoever you are aspiring to do in life, you have to be determined because if you say you will do it, then you will do it. You can also share your thoughts with us on our social media platforms. On Facebook, we are Celebration TV. On Instagram, we are My Celebration TV. On Twitter, it's at My Celebration TV. And on YouTube, the channel name is Celebration TV. Never you forget that your positive contribution to the wellness of the society you find yourself or the organization you work determines or defines your leadership might. As an individual who knows what to do and do without expecting to be pushed has backed his ways to success and be it known today that everything we do, everything we think, everything we feel, and everything that we believe either has a positive or negative effect on humanity and our national well-being so do your best to be a part of nation building today thanks for watching the news and celebration television news desk my name is Billy Squetta and have a nice day
you fought. <laughs>